Okay, so I guess when it pours, it rains. No, when it rains, it pours. But this is a perfect opportunity to visit the site. I don't think it's rained in, I don't know, almost a year. Is this new graffiti? I don't remember this being here. I hope that's not new graffiti. In any case, um, so I wanted to come to the site, just check it out, because uh, it doesn't rain very often, so this would be a perfect opportunity, an empty building, to identify any sort of leaks uh, coming from the roof, or if there's any issues, water damage. Um, and it looks like, for the most part, everything looks clean on the inside, except for two places. One, the bathroom, uh, the women's bathroom. There's two places I can clearly see it's leaking, and that would explain uh, all the, the, the tiles and the ceiling that look water damaged, the mold, the smell. It actually explains everything perfectly. So there's some pretty substantial leaking going on there. Um, and then over here, we've got a pretty leak, pretty substantial leak on this corner of the building up here, kind of see where the insulation is coming out, and then down to the floor over here. I have another video that shows that. And then lastly, it looks like over here, there's a teeny, 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 tiny leak. There's a tiny bit of water. There's like a little spot on the ground right here. I don't know if you can see that little spot. Looks like nothing really, but if you look right above, you can see that the insulation looks kind of brown and moldy. So it would make sense that, yeah, it's a little damp. So uh, there's a tiny little leak uh, coming from there. So, so it's very interesting. So like wherever the insulation is open on the ceiling could be where the leaks are happening. So if that's the case, there's insulation coming up, opening here, as well as up here too. I mean, it could just be coincidence, I suppose, but how it's a coincidence that there's open insulation on that side and on this side that both have leaks. Um, but I don't see any spots on the ground underneath the other two like I did there. So it looks like I've got, we've got three leaks, a big one in the bathroom, a small one in the corner, and a tiny one over here, but regardless, all three need to be addressed, and it's causing mold and potential water damage and electrical issues. Um, it does make me wonder about this tile right here, but I don't see any water spot on the ground. No, no water okay. And then I'm just gonna check outside really quick to see if everything's draining properly, because uh, that's going to be important as well. Let's see. See, I see some of the water dropping on the ground right here, but I don't know if it's affecting the outsides. Okay, so that's what I have. Oh wait, this is interesting. Right above the sprinkler is a circle. Looks like a little circle. Yeah, you can kind of see it, right? Yeah, there's like a little stamp, circular looking thing right there. So I don't know if that's water damage. Huh. So lots of little things we gotta take care of here. <laughs>